Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is Sadie. Sadie Sassafras. She mostly uh, oversees production. Look over here, man. You're on camera. We had the studio built about six years ago, and it was really out of necessity at first because we have a smaller house and we had our first child and then we hired our first employee and I was starting to get into commercial work and so we'd be in this tiny little room in the house with an employee and I'd be on a conference call with a client and then there's this like little person screaming and banging on the glass door. There was just no separation and so we were fortunate enough to have a fair amount of space that we could um, build something like this. This is where a lot of the production and work happens. I've done a couple shoots here over the years, but we don't typically shoot in here because it's pretty small. Um, usually if I shoot in here, it's just going to be like a small personal project. We did our family portrait here where we're all dressed in blue. But other than that, this is kind of where we do editing and just paperwork and all the production and stuff that happens. I can show you guys a couple little props that we have back here. This is, uh, this is the wig that uh, we used for our family picture along with way too many other wigs. How's my hair? I feel like it, it's coming a little loose in the front. This is the wig and mustache that I used for a series of portraits I did for Wexley School for Girls where everybody had the same wig and mustache and the same jacket on. This was my first camera. Um, this was my grandpa's camera and then um, this is the one that I got uh, when I was in college and I shot my first roll of film on this and I guess used it for maybe a year or so before I got another camera and then this was my grandpa's first I don't even know what it is I think it's a video camera wait I don't know I should know so I did a series called uniform uh, a couple of years ago and I'm still working on it these are some of the props and John Lavin he's the art director on the project he did an awesome job and we added this camera and we didn't have any cameras the first shoot so I'm excited to see if this makes the cut. The way I look at my career is it's really been a series of curiosity and a progression through that. I think when I started I was just interested in photography and then I found out there was something more specific that I was actually interested in and I, without even fully knowing what that meant and editorial portraits were something that I was really drawn to. I liked the ability to create and to not just simply document what's in front of you, but you could affect something a little bit. This was a cover I shot for Wired UK of Jeff Bezos. This is probably the most recent um, editorial assignment I have. I don't do a ton of editorial anymore. These are my old portfolios. I loved how they look. They're just like so solid and people always were impressed, but the problem is you can't update them because they're bound. So. Now I have a bookshelf of these things that I'm not sure what to do with. This is my workstation where all of those glorious emails get answered and written. I also do all my editing and kind of prep work for post-production. These are some images that I just shot. I'm working towards publishing a book, so I'm just doing some really simple comparing to one of the original images. And then this is my printer, which I've had a little bit over a year now. And I had someone else doing my printing at first and I couldn't get the print or the color or really any of it to look exactly how I wanted. And so eventually I kept going back and telling them like, it's not right, it's not right. And finally the printer just kind of said, you're way too picky, man. And that's when I knew I needed to do it myself. This is Epson Legacy Barita paper. It's kind of, it's like luster paper. It's not glossy and it's not matte, so it's really somewhere in between. Here's actually a test print that I just did. So I just made a new image called Yellow Feathers. Quite a bit smaller than the final print, but this was to check color and just check for details and check for any little pieces that may have been missed or overlooked. I'm almost creating with the intention of a print now, which was never necessarily something that I thought about in the past. I don't know how that changes my work or my process, but it's thinking about that tangible end result is definitely something I'm conscious of and something that I look forward to. So this is my new portfolio. 
I get to make the prints and you can, you know, hold them. There's something really nice about just holding a physical print. This has been a good kind of format for me to work with recently. I think when I used to do personal work, it was really me creating work on my own, but it was targeted towards a client. And then as I started finally realizing what it is that I have to say, I started creating work just truly for me. This was a um, German family in the 90s in the Witness Protection Program. They were actually the um, largest smugglers of medical grade soap. And the further I got into that process, you kind of, what's your goal, right? I mean, you're creating for yourself and there's something really fulfilling about that, but I needed it to have like a container, so to speak. And so for me, fine art became kind of a natural progression. Having a space that's dedicated to being creative and creating, there's something really kind of magical about that. And it's one of the few things in my life that I feel like I'm constantly aware of and rarely take for granted. It's a space where I know that I can be myself and I can kind of let my guard down and I can hopefully experiment and explore. We've even hosted like little dinner parties and had people from our workshop over and done portfolio reviews in here. So I'm grateful for the space and, and what we can do with it and, and just what it's meant to us. Come on. Sadie, leave him alone. Don't be jealous. Who's this guy? This is Oliver. Oliver is my first assistant. 